Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would be explaining you how you can solve a psychrometric problem using the relations and uh, you can calculate the various properties, various quantities using the relations. So before starting with the video, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe my channel by pressing the subscribe button below. Also do check out my other videos, all the links are given in the description and uh, if you find this video helpful please share the video if you have any doubt please comment below and uh, also follow me on facebook twitter and google plus all the links are given in the description at the end now starting with the video so this was the question that you have to calculate the relative humidity humidity ratio or the specific humidity dew point temperature density and enthalpy and the conditions are that dbt that is dew that is dry bulb temperature is 35 degrees celsius wet bulb temperature wbt is 23 degrees celsius and the total pressure is given as 750 mm hg so you should remember that if the total pressure is not given 760 mm hg that is if the total pressure is not 1 atmosphere or 1.01325 bar or 760 mm hg then you cannot use the psychrometric chart because psychrometric chart is drawn only for the atmospheric pressure condition that is 1 atm or 1.01325 bar or 760 mm hg but here in the question it is given that the total pressure is 750 mm hg so if you do by psychrometric chart your answer would be wrong and you will straight away get zero so whenever first you check what is the total pressure given it and 99% time it is not given 760 it is different from that so the examiner assumes that you will you have solved the problem using the relations and not using the psychrometric chart so in this video you will get to know how you can solve those type of problems using the relations so first you need to understand that these were these are the relations that are used that is PV partial pressure is equal to partial pressure at wet bulb temperature minus 1.8 times the total pressure into the difference of dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature upon 2700. This is the modified Apron equation. Alright, you don't need to remember the name, just you need to remember the relation. And second relation is relative humidity that is phi is equal to PV upon PV at saturation PV upon PV at saturation that is partial pressure upon saturation pressure then specific humidity or humidity ratio that is denoted by W is equal to 0 0.6 0 0.622 into PV upon P total minus PV and the last enthalpy is equal to CP into T dry bulb temperature plus W bracket 2500 plus 1.88 into T dry bulb temperature unit will be kilojoule per kg of dry air so these are the relations all right now how to solve yeah so now you can see that now I am proceeding to find the solution so how you can solve first you have to find the because in the relation because in the relation here first you have to find the partial pressure but partial pressure the relation contains partial pressure at WBT so you have to find first partial pressure at WBT so how you can find you will have to use the steam table and you will have to find the partial pressure at WBT at 23 degrees Celsius so from a steam table you get out get the answer to be 21.06 mm hg all right so now using the relation one so what was our relation our relation was pv is equal to pv at wbt minus 1.8 into total pressure into dry bulb minus wbt wet bulb upon 2700 so using this relation i substituted here that is pv is equal to pv at wbt pv at wbt we have found out 21.06 from steam table you put it here minus 1.8 into total pressure total pressure is given to be 750 mm hg 
into dry bulb minus wet bulb upon 2700. So you solve PV partial pressure, it comes out to be 15.06 mm FHD. So and and saturation pressure you have to find. So saturation pressure is always found out to be at dry bulb temperature. So at dry bulb temperature that is at 35 degrees Celsius, the saturated pressure is 42.4 mm Hg. This we have to find from steam table. Alright. So we have found out PV. We have found out PV saturation. So we can use this relation and we can find out the relative humidity phi. Alright. So we have found out relative humidity phi is equal to PV upon PV saturation is equal to 15.06 this upon 42.4 this we have found out into 100 so 35.5 percent is the relative humidity so we have got our got the first answer now second answer specific humidity or w is equal to 0 0.60 0 0.622 into pv upon p total minus pv so you substitute 0 0.60 0 0.622 into pv is this upon p total is 750 minus pv so it comes out to be 0 0.012745 kg per kg per kg of dryer. You have to remember that though kg kg gets cancelled, but you have to write this unit kg per kg of dryer. Otherwise, you will get zero. All right. So you have to remember that you have to write kg per kg of dryer when you are writing the specific humidity. This is the unit. Third part, dew point temperature. We have to find the we have to find the dew point temperature. So dew point temperature is the temperature is the saturated temperature at the partial pressure. Remember dew point temperature is the saturated temperature at the partial pressure. So partial pressure we have found out from this relation is equal to 15.06 mmHg. So using the steam table you go to find this pressure. When you find this pressure corresponding to that the temperature that is given that is the saturated temperature that is given is your dew point temperature so corresponding to this mmhg from steam table you get dew point temperature as 17.7 degrees celsius so three part are over now fourth part fourth part it says density and fifth part says enthalpy so density density is equal to pressure upon r into t from pv is equal to rt so rho, rho density is equal to P upon RT. I hope you understand this. Then density of air. So you will use pressure of air upon RA into T. So pressure of air. Since the total pressure was 750 mmHg and partial pressure was 15.06. So pressure of air. Since the moist air contains dry air as well as moisture. So this is the total pressure of the moist air we have to find only of air so you here you will put pressure of only air so only air will be the total pressure minus the pressure exerted by the vapor so pressure exerted by the vapor will be partial pressure that we have already found out 15.06 so you will subtract from total pressure so that will be the pressure of the dry air so 750 minus 15.06 into 133.5 this is used to convert the mm of hg into newton per meter square all right so you have to multiply by this factor upon ra into t ra is 287 for air that is 8314 upon 29 so you will get 287 into dry bulb temperature plus 273 so so as to convert in kelvin you will solve you will get 1.1099 kg per meter cube and density of vapor will be PV upon RV into T. So PV will be partial pressure that you have found out 15.06 into again you have to multiply 133.5 so as to convert in Newton per meter square upon RV into T. Now RV 461.8 how this comes? This comes by 8314 that is the universal gas constant 8314 divided by molecular weight of water that is 18. So 8314 upon 18 you will get 
into dryer temperature plus 273 this i have done to so as to convert to kelvin you solve this you will get 0 0.014135 kg per meter cube so these two are individual answer this is the combined answer so density of moist air will be density of air plus density of vapor so you add these so this will be the final answer all right you have to remember you have to write kg per meter cube this is very important unit and the last part last part is enthalpy enthalpy is the formula for enthalpy the formula for enthalpy is cp into dryable temperature plus w into bracket 2500 plus 1.88 into t dryable temperature and you remember here you have to put the dryable temperature in degree celsius itself you don't have to add 273 to convert into kelvin all right so cp into dryable temperature 35 plus w bracket 2500 plus 1.88 into dryable temperature cp is 1.005 kilojoule per kg kelvin you know this cp and cv and r you know cp that is a specific heat at constant pressure so 1.005 it is for air into 35 plus w you have found out in the previous step 0 0.012745 that is this all right now into bracket 2500 plus 1.88 into dry bulb that is 35 so you solve this the answer comes out to be 67.8761 kilojoule per kg of dryer remember you have to write kilojoule per kg of dryer this is very important per kg of dryer that will be the complete answer so you have found out all the five parts and i hope i made myself very clear so if you have any doubt please mention in the comment section below also if you have not yet subscribed my channel please subscribe i post videos daily and uh, if you have found this video helpful please like the video share the video as much as you can and uh, check out my other videos all the videos are very helpful and uh, till then in the next video take care bye bye wherever i go wherever i see i remember your